how are you feeling today? I am feeling very excited because blooming hell. It is The Sims 4 blooming rose at no... <laughs> Stop doing that. I keep saying Bloomin' Rose because it's the pub where my mum was barmaid and met my dad. I think it's called the Bloomin' Rose. But this isn't a pub. This is the Blooming Rooms kit. So this is the newest kit, which isn't a pack. It's a kit from The Sims 4. Um, I Full disclosure, I've got this through the Game Changers Network, although I don't think it's called Game Changers anymore. It's got a different name. I don't know. Whatever. I've got this um, from EA. So a big thank you to EA. And um, this is what this pack is all about. My favorite. My actual full on favorite. It is none other than plants. So we're going to liven up our space with shelving, tables, and even lighting fixtures. Become living decor with enchanting foliage. It's easy being green. Potted and hanging plants transform any room into a small piece of paradise. Vibrant vegetation even takes the place of curtains and wall art. Okay, wow. With so many verdant grot colors, it will feel like living in a literal greenhouse. <laughs> I know that because that's my own house. And a piece of the outdoors inside. Fill your sims home with cheerful, peaceful plants. Delight in a lush, soothing atmosphere of growth all around with an unexpectedly leafy details and natural beauty. So I'm really, really excited to give this a go. I'm gonna do a two for one in today's video because I wanna build it on one floor, but with platforms. And I want it to look like a studio apartment, but a very planty studio apartment. Uh, but maybe not a studio apartment, maybe just on one floor. I don't know. We're just kind of making this up as we go along. But I figured it would be a good opportunity to do one of the lots for my spicy sim safe file. So I think I'm gonna just nip into this one. I'm just gonna destroy everything. And we are gonna fully start from scratch. If I'm going to build with platforms, I'm going to build the platforms first. And I have like a general idea in my head of how I want to do this. So hopefully I can do what I want to do. So I want it to be like main living kitchen. The bedroom is like on a platform, like a level above. And then like a bathroom here. But I'm probably going to steal a little bit of that room for the bedroom like this. And have like a little ladder going up to the bed. So it's going to be a little teeny tiny room, you know? So let me just like make this go really high. And there's a ladder going up to the bed kind of thing. We'll do a little bit at the front that's a tiny bit lower. And everything else is one up kind of thing. And we're going to try and make a cute little planty house. It sure is square. Sure is square. But we'll try and make it look cute. So I'm going to bring the whole thing onto foundations real quick. And I'm going to put a porch at the front of the house, I think. So yeah, it's kind of like a love situation. But I'll try and figure out how to make it look less awkward on the outside. And, you know, it's still meant to be in this kind of like cute small housing area. So I will keep the vibes, I guess. I think we should look at all of the new items that came with the pack. So this is everything from the Bloomin' Roses pack. The Bloomin' Roses. Right, let's have a nosy what we got. So we have ourselves. Okay, this stuff is nice. I mean, I knew I was always going to like it because it's plenty. But hello. So we've got like a little end table or like a little side table. Oh no, this is the end oh my gosh okay i like this stuff oh my gosh i was looking at these to put in my background what any more that i can like put in here oh my gosh this is stackable so we've got like a little puppy vase a little i have a vase oh my gosh I have a vase just like that. And then we've got this little cutie pie at the top as well. And I wonder if this swatch changes the animal. Oh, <gasps> a pig. Okay, you can have Evie. That's Lexi. Okay, so it changes the little animal. That's really cute. And then this changes out the vase. This, oh, oh, this is cool because it changes the plant. Oh my gosh. This makes me really happy. I have a plant just like that as well. <laughs> obviously, I'm going to have all these plants. Whether they're still alive or not is obviously a different story. Great. Oh. An indoor greenhouse. Love, 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 love. I've also got this. And this has cool swatches. I saw it in the trailer. Yeah, la, la, la. you can get swatches with like different colors. <gasps> and it's got hanging plants. <gasps> it's got test tube sp sprouts, little starters. It's got uh, the string of pearls type situation. I've got this hanging off my kitchen shelf. I have all these plants, guys. Look, they're propagating pothos. They're propagating pothos right now. Okay. This makes my plant heart very happy. Let this a propagation station. Oh my gosh, it's literally called a propagation station. I was like, this is a propagation station. It actually is a propagation station. That's a posh one. Pick up limes has this one. I don't have that one. We got this little fella, a little hung in front. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is a healthy pothos. Okay, this stuff's really nice, guys. Fantastic, Mr. Fern. It is actually low-key fantastic. This little fella, I find the small ones sometimes legit harder to keep alive. Healthy leaves, healthy leaves. Gosh, I'm so excited to decorate. You guys don't even understand. Look at this. Oh, curbs for your kitchen. It's got little snowdrops in it. They're growing them in cans. 
Oh, I love, 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 love. <gasps> oh, what? Look at those thick boys. What's it growing on it? Citrus tree. Oh my gosh. Love. Another happy plant. We'll pop you over there. Wait, I've already put one of you out, actually. I'm just trying to see everything in the park. I love the these are expensive, like um, little planters. Really expensive, but they look gorgeous. This is my favorite color scheme. Who is this? Oh, the rage plant cage. Oh my gosh. If you don't think I'm going to be using that as a divider, that is a gorgeous room divider. Oh my gosh. I'm so ready to build. I'm so ready. Oh, <gasps> Fine cuts! <laughs> Can I just show you something that I was gonna use as inspo for today? You are you ready for what we're gonna do with the bed? You better be, because this is what I was thinking. We could hang the plants over the edge like this. Uh we also got this fella. <gasps> oh, it's hydrotropic! Green lamp la green green light plant lamp. It's a hydro hydrotropic system with the grow light. Oh, this is this is this is like science. I'm into science and I'm into plants vibes. And then another one with a grow light attached. Big brain. Very big brain. Okay, so this is everything that comes with it. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So there's 20 new items. If you include all the swatches, obviously there is a bunch. Oh, no, I, right, I've missed some. I've missed some. Okay, there's a bit more. There's a bit more. There's not just 20. There is. Let's go around the side here. This, which is the houseplant hobbyist shelving. So that kind of looks like it'd be quite cute outside, to be honest. But there we go. We've got this too with the little welly bobs. And we've got the desert rose, which kind of has... It feels a little bit more like a um, bonsai. Um, we've also got the... Wow. Therapeutic Ficus. Okay, that is a big one. Okay, 23 items. 23 items. Oh, <gasps> 24! How did, I, how did I miss this many? Well, did I just decide to randomly start clicking like here? I don't understand how I did that. 24 items in total. We've also got these little hugging ones too. Oh! <gasps> cheese plant. I think this is the best kit so far. Yeah, I'm enjoying the new stuff quite a lot. Okay, so we, the new stuff looks great. We've got all the items out here ready to go so we don't accidentally forget any of them. Let's try and use all of them in this build and let's try and make this build have really planty energy to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start building the outside of this. I think it's only right that we make the outside kind of green. Just feels like it fits this pack quite a lot. Right, let's put the porch in the middle. And I think we could use outside. Oh my gosh, by the way, sorry. I've just noticed this curtain has hanging um, vases in it. I think we should start using some of this stuff outside because these, I think, feel like they would do really well outside. So I'm going to put some of these thickest outside. I like the, I like the um, default. Look at the mosses swooping around it. Love that. And let's see what windows we should go for. Could go for a bit of this. I need to watch where my walls are inside though. I think I'm going to make the hallway one bigger. And this isn't actually going to have a wall here. So we'll do it like that instead. Might even put the um, ladders to get up here. I think that would be a good idea. And I realize I should have put some of these on. So let's do that now. I guess we need to think about what we're doing with the roof. As much as I don't want to. Because as you guys know, I do be hating roofs. I sure do. Yeah, I, I, I was thinking of doing a glass roof because then it kind of feels, at least this front bit, it sort of has um, greenhouse energy, doesn't it? Definitely need something here, though. The house not being symmetrical is kind of stressing me out. I'd rather do it, like, really to one side than only a bit to one side. Then it's like, you know, you know it's too far to one side. It's not like you've just missed it kind of thing. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it does in my head. Okay, I want a pretty outdoor bench. I've got the Jardin ones with the little... That's so cute. I like it. And then can we throw any of these? Am I using them all up a little bit too soon? Or I could have this outside. No, it's too big. It's too big. Don't put that there. Don't put that there. I'm going to be using this everywhere in, in my life. I can just feel it already. It's so cute. What? And don't these hung? Where's the hanging one? It's here. A little planty as you come in. Cute, right? Very cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, help. I can't stop. It's going to look so cute. Okay, I'm going to just paint the house because I need to know what color I'm going for. I didn't realize that other people hated these. I was so shocked when I found that out because these legit are like one of my favorite plants in the whole game. 
When I was doing that plant rating and everyone hated these, I was like, genuinely my jaw was on the floor. I'm like, I use them in every build. Just shows you though, doesn't it? Everyone's a bit different. <gasps> it's so cute. <gasps> That's cute, right? That's so cute. So yeah, that little light that comes down there is actually a functional light as well. It's like a grow light, but it will glow at nighttime, which is really cute. Okay, this house is starting to look very adorable. So this is going to be like hallway, dump your stuff, um, storage into kitchen living room and then the bedroom is going to be here so i am going to go ahead and immediately just put a little um ladder to get to the bedroom okay and let's put some lights in now some of the lights that come with this new pack are functional lights they're like plants that are lights and then you could put a bed in between those and that would be kind of cute i love this pack <laughs> I really like it. Right, let's put some, just some saucer lights on for now so I can light the room and then we can plan everything. Because the kitchen, I'm really keen to plan because I feel like kitchens help dictate the layout of the house. And I'm thinking, I think green and white go together. So I'm kind of thinking we make sure that we're using a lot of whites and then fill it with green and then it makes the green really stand out against the white. Oh, something like that is going to be very vibey too. And I'll tell you what we could do. If I... Okay, give me a sec. Okay, if I turn it to this side, it's all part of the same pack. So we can put... Oh my gosh, look at that sink. This is going to be... I'm just saying, this is going to be a spicy house. How dark do we want to go? Do we want to stay quite bright? Because I can't deny those are beautiful chairs. This is by Halleck, uh, Harry and Felix Andre. Felix Andre and Harry, I adore all of their CC. You're going to see a lot of it in all of the builds that I do. I recently just downloaded more or less everything just because it all just looks so great. And this park in particular is really going to work with the new, C the new park because it has a lot of plants in it. So it just kind of makes sense, right? There is gorgeous dining tables that go with this. But I think in um, a place like this that's kind of smaller, we need to be a bit more sensible with space. So I feel like a breakfast bar is a good option. And I'm thinking I'm going to extend the platform out one. I also want to get some of the gorgeous stuff from the new pack in there too. So I don't think I'm going to be able to fit that inside. That I think we'll save for the garden. It's fine. I think it will look great in the garden, so I'm not too worried. Instead, we'll be able to fit some of this other stuff in. Let's get the core stuff in. And then from there, we'll be able to work out where we put things around it. We only need, in my head, two people live here. We've got the third chair in case we've got company. But I think it's either a single living house or a two people living house. So I can kind of keep things sort of small. I think we need to keep things bright because it's already a small space. And yeah, let's try bringing the wood the brick in although i might not do it in the middle because why would you have it in the middle that makes no sense that will just be white or it will be some kind of funky wallpaper actually like green for our plants let's just fully commit to the plant life let's not be afraid of the plant life i think i'm gonna put carpet in the bedroom because honestly waking up and putting your feet into soft carpet is just nice it just feels nice it nurtures the foot and it's kind of a vibe. Right, I'm just going to finish off with a few more bits in the kitchen because I just remembered there's these really cool hanging planters. And the aim of this is to go very planty. So I kind of feel like it works over there. And then what I like to do is drop my um, hanging lights through the plants. And I think pendant lighting in a kitchen is really cool. Also means I can get rid of those. Oven! Oh my gosh. How do I forget the most important parts of the kitchen? How? Oh, I love this kitchen set. This is meant to be me talking about the new park, but as usual, it just turns into me simping over CC. Like, come on, Claire, get it together. Get it together, babes, right. But those as bedside tables, can you imagine? Can you imagine how happy you'd be if you woke up with these many plants? I got this whole greenhouse, indoor greenhouse. Man, I wish the Sims could like squeeze past things. It's kinda... You could grow the things you wanna eat there. And it's a little bit untraditional, but I think it works. And then we've got this cool one too. Okay, this is probably the worst idea ever because if it falls, we're gonna have a bad time. But you could put it there. <laughs> this needs playtesting more than anything has ever needed playtesting before. I'm just saying you could put that there. I am actually gonna have to put some steps to get to this platform or else no one's getting inside. Okay. It's nowhere near planty enough right now. That is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling the lack of plants is actually quite stressful for my eyes to bear. 
We need to get way more planty than this. We can do better than this. And you know what I've not had a chance to use enough of yet? My favorite thing in the whole park, which was the vine freaking curtains. So let's slam these everywhere. Just literally unload them into the whole of the house. And you know what I kind of wanted to do? I wanted to do a four poster bed using these curtains as the um, curtains. So if we use like this one, from the industrial park, which actually fits this vibes a lot. My dream bed. It's my dream bed. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. If you want this bed, put it in the comments right now. This is my dream bed. It would be a nightmare because you'd get eaten alive by insects. But if you ignore that, it's the coolest bed in the whole world. Let's get some more of this stuff in. I always place plants underneath windows. So I feel like we should put some plants underneath windows. And then it just like makes sense, doesn't it? And I haven't used the most beautiful one yet. Hello. Let's get a few more of these. I like this one next to the stairs. Because then when you climb up the stairs, you're going to like this is like hanging down next to it. And that's kind of pretty, right? And then here, I'm going to have like a feature wall of plants bathroom door yep didn't think about that <laughs> what do we reckon guys i'm just gonna go for a circle i'm gonna go for a circle coffee table why does it have to be so big like that's too small there's got to be a happy medium here and i need it to be circle otherwise it's not breaking up the room enough if i size it okay yeah i'm gonna size it down right let me work out what height the plants need to go at i'm um, the queen of clutter in real life they call me messy in sims it's aesthetic perfect perfect okay and then let's chuck like some little books and stuff around the house uh the room coffee table is nice but you see how this house is like three lines it's like i'm playing a moba this is mid lane this is where your tank and uh dps is gonna go and this is where your solo lane is gonna go it makes no sense for a house I'm trying to break up the three lanes and instead try and make it look more like a home by using a circular object in the middle to stop it being a three lane house. It's looking real planty. Even more plants at the end of the bed. Things we love to see. And uh, anywhere else to like shove a load of plants that we haven't taken full advantage of yet? Yes, in here. Okay, let's go mud. I'm just like looking at plants and smiling. <laughs> Why do plants appeal to us so much? What is it about them that we just love? I like look at plants and I just feel happy. Is it just the greenness? Are we like genetically programmed to love green? I feel like maybe we are because I just feel happy when I look at plants. Okay, we've got a nice little activity area out there too. I'm just going to do a few final stray trees and stuff so it doesn't look quite as straight. So... This is my Blooming Rooms inspired build. We, someone said, how many plants? We said yes. And we just went all in with this kind of loft inspired plant heaven. So little area here to come inside the house. This is, I probably should have put some more cushions, but never mind. Here is your, look at the, look at the god rays coming to greet you as you sit inside here. We love a god ray. Um, the kitchen's my favorite bit by far. I adore this kitchen. There's no bin, but you'll just compost it, so it's fine. Um, downstairs bathroom is definitely where I decided I was bored. And I think it shows. But I no, you know what? It's actually not too bad because it's got plants in it. And then upstairs into your mosquito bite in bed. So if you've ever thought, I want to sleep, but I also want to lose somewhere between quarter and a half pint of blood. Now you know where you could be sleeping and taking full advantage of that. And there we go, guys. Oh, also, you got outside. Can't be forgetting about outside. Here is your little area to continue your obsession with plants. Because let's face it, you can't have this many plants and have a job, so you've got to make your job your plants. So this is where your workshop. This is where you sit and watch the people with free time who aren't watering plants or buying fertilizer, this is where they may walk by, but you cannot. You are tied to this house. You wanna go on holiday? No. You wanna go stay with your family? No. Who are you gonna get to water this many plants? No one. It's never gonna happen. There's too many plants. 
So you're tied to this house forever. And I hope you're happily with your decisions that you've made. But let me know what you think of my planty hellhole slash paradise, depending on how you look at it. Goodbye.